Hi guys, this is Adam Sadagar and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the environment for Subbot. And after that we'll run the getting started code at the end. If you prefer a text guide instead of a video, you can always visit the Subbot documentation. Links are in the description below. Before we start, comment below. What do you want to do with this WhatsApp bot? And what features you would like to see in the future? Requirements Before we start with the environment, let's talk about what you need to even use Subbot. Don't worry, it's not much. You'll just need three things. First, a PC to run Python in it. It can be Linux, Mac or Windows. Subbot works on everything. Second, an Android phone to run WhatsApp on. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can create an AVD that's short for Android Virtual Device to emulate and that's completely fine to use that way. And the last thing you need is a phone number to set up WhatsApp. That should be pretty straightforward. <laughs> Installation. Now that requirements is out of the way. Phew. Let's start by downloading the software we'll need. We'll need JDK 8, Android Studio, NPM and Python. And again, you'll find links for everything down in the description below. After everything is downloaded, install it. All the installers are pretty straightforward. Just keep pressing next. But make sure when installing Python, you have checked this checkbox over here to include it in the path variables. That's all. Setting up environment. After that is done, we will need to create a couple of environment variables. First one is Java Home. For that, navigate to this directory and copy the path. Now right click on this PC, go into properties and then press advanced system properties. Then click environment variables. In there, click new and type java underscore home and paste the path over here and then press ok. Don't press ok here just yet. We need to add one more path to it. And that one is Android Home. For that, navigate to this directory. This might differ for you as your username is different, but you can just copy the path of the directory from over here and create another variable just as before and press OK. Next, we have to install IPM. For that, just open a command prompt and type this command and press Enter. Installing Subbot. Finally, we are going to install Subbot. Just type pip install Subbot into the terminal and press enter. That is it. And now we have everything we need to use Subbot. Yes, yes, but yes. before we run Subbot, you will need to set up the Android device with WhatsApp and configure it with a phone number you want to use. If you want to create an Android virtual device, here is how you can do it. First launch Android Studio, then click on Configure, then on AVD Manager, then Create Virtual Device. Pixel 2 settings are fine. Then you need to download a system image. For that you can simply click the down blue download button over here. As I already have Pi downloaded, I'm going to use that. Then click finish. And now you have Android virtual device ready to be used. Also, you need to enable debugging mode from developer settings. For that, you can go into about phone and tap on device number few times, which will unhide the developer options. From there, you can just simply enable debugging mode. You also need to create an empty group called exclamation temp for support to utilize some of its features. Let me just show you how to set up the group. First you add a contact to your phone. Then 
then create a group and add the contact to the group just to create it then when the group is created you can kick your contact out after that just pin the group you also need to disable whatsapp notification as it can interfere with the whatsapp ui don't forget to do that please testing subbot once your phone is ready connect it if it is not an emulator <laughs> and simply run your subbot script for now as we just want to test if subbot is working or not you can run subbot command this will start a cli program which you can use to send messages and receive them as well let's try it out and see if it works once the bot starts please don't touch whatsapp because it will crash the bot if that happens it will try to restart whatsapp but why risk it? And it works. That means subbot has been successfully configured and is ready to be used for deployment or development on this machine. Getting started code. Now let's try out the getting started code. This code is pretty funny. <laughs> it simply sends back the message which a sender has sent back to them. It annoys the heck out of people. Let's try it out. So just create a script wherever you want because it's Python, you know. Just paste the five line of codes over here and run it. And as you can see, with just five lines of code, we can build such a fun bot. But you can use this to build anything you want and anything you like. This bot is still in development, so things might change in the future. If they do, please check the comments below for a pinned message. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I will see you guys later.